what then what's the obstacle to them being where you guys are to being as uh, just, just just maintain it. You know, just going through, you know, everything that Coach Harbaugh wants them to do, doing everything that Coach Harbaugh wants them to do and, 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 and being mentally focused. You know, they have the talent to, you know, to do whatever they want to do. But if you don't have the mental uh, capacity, to, I guess, to be great, then, you know, you won't be. But I, I think those guys do, you know. Would you expect that he'd coach them differently than he coaches you guys as seniors um, just because of, you know, their inexperience or something? I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say so. You know, he treats everybody just about the same. You know, everybody's a professional when they're on the field. So uh, I think that'll, that'll help with their, uh, their, I guess, their process as well, too. I think about it. What level of mental toughness do you have to have to, to play for him, knowing his <laughs> expectations? Uh, you got to be very mentally tough. I mean, all of this practice, all of this, you know, preparing can definitely break, you know, a lot of people. But um, if, you, if you stay focused and, and you do what he tells you to do, I mean, you can be great. What has it meant to you to be in this system for the last two years? Uh, I miss the world to me. You know, uh, just getting prepared for the, to the for, uh, professional level. You know, um, just understanding that you know everything's a business and everybody you know is expected to do their job. So um, when you have that, you have to be responsible for yourself and your teammates. Man, it's just it's amazing. George, I want to ask you. I know um, you can have your hands full with FSU's wide receivers, but. When you see, you know, Dalvin Cook kind of break through there and you have to get off your man, how, you know, how much of a challenge will that be for you to get off your man and try to tackle him in the field? I mean, he's a challenge regardless of whatever, you know, is going on. I mean, when he's on the field, he's he's explosive. And um, when you when you have to take into account, you know, their explosive receivers and, you know, that play-action game, it's, you know, it'll be a, a definitely a big challenge. For, you get, for a guy like him, he's playing in his hometown, um, you know, it might be his last game. Uh, do you guys kind of just, you know, See that uh, you got you guys notice that and want to you know kind of spoil that for him a little bit. Uh, we want to spoil it for him, you know, regardless of if it's his home game or not. But I know he's gonna go out there prepared his hardest, regardless of he's here or not. But um, he just wants. I know he's a competitor. He's gonna go out there and get as many you know touches as he, as he wants, and um, he's gonna go out there and execute. I know he will. So we just gotta we gotta have to count on him. So. A bunch of you guys have used that word professional and that this is the, it's a professional environment. When was the point when you realized that that's what this was with Harbaugh? Um, I think the moment that we got our our first meeting with, you know, he talked about his battle rhythms and uh, everything that we were going to do to to win. You know, everything was about winning. You know, it was it was never about rebuilding. It was never about, you know, okay, we, we need to... We need to, you know, how are we gonna plan out this, you know, I guess these few years. It was about immediately, immediately changing the culture and, and winning. So that's exactly what I'm, what I meant, and that's why I know everybody, I guess, uh, will take from that. So. Was that a shock to people in the room, or do you think that they embraced it? No, it? we embraced it. I mean, if you, you saw the way we prepared and the way we went out and, and, and had that 2015 season, um, and we embraced it completely. Uh, we want to win just as bad as he wanted to win. So when you have that, you want guys, you have uh, players with desire and a coach that you know understands what it takes to win. You know you can do great things. Given that though, what do you think when you see video of Florida State going to a beach and they're out here anyway, so they get to see it? Iowa bowling and Nebraska yeah. coaches karaoke and uh, I mean, you guys are like stuck. It feels like used to it. I mean, we used to it. I mean, there's nothing we can do about it. You know, we just got to go out there and prepare, you know, whatever the coaches and, you know, the staff has in store for us, we have to endure. So um, we just go out there and, and do our jobs, honestly. What do you do for fun, though? Practice. That's, fun. that's, that's, that's what coach calls team building. You go out there and you practice. So, I mean, it's working. I mean, if you see it, I mean, a lot of people might not understand it. A lot of people might not like it, but um, it's working for us. It's working for Michigan. So. No, no envy of that. I mean, you see that. You I mean, you can't. Too. I mean, when I'm doing something, you can't worry about you know everything that's going on. I mean, when you do that, you know you lose focus on why you're really here. So, uh, not saying that you know they're losing focus by doing it. I'm yeah. just saying, well, if we if we concentrate on what other people are doing, that's like you know we can we can lose focus. I mean, we have a big challenge at hand. Yeah. Um, Delvin Cook and those plus receivers. You know, their, their defense is is very is very good. So. Uh, we just got to go out there and prepare as much as possible. Obviously, that's what those are. Do so. you think that'll make the next couple months easier for you guys as NFL prospects because you've been <coughs> in this? I, I mean, I think that's a little different. You know, um, you always, you know, I don't, I really don't know what's in store. You know, I've been, you know, everything's been so planned out for me this whole time. But um, 
Um, I think the as a work aspect of things, yeah, it'll be you know. I mean, we're kind of used to just working, so uh, putting our hands down and just grinding. So if you're talking about just that that aspect of things, yeah, definitely. Well, you look back on this with a certain amount of pride as the group that kind of restored Michigan football. Um, hopefully, you know, I, I hope everybody sees us as the, the group that did that, you know, especially that 2012 and 2013 class coming in. But um, I'm just excited for the future, honestly. It's not really about, about me. It's about those brothers that I have that's younger than me uh, that's going out there and going to go compete for a few more years, you know, and I'm, I'm just excited to see what they do.